Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I always do this when I say welcome back. Anyway, I'm so excited to have you here. If you're new here, welcome. And like I said, if you've been here before, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're just gonna see how this goes. It is Tuesday, November 28th. The running event is here in Austin. This, this is a yearly thing in Austin, Texas. This convention called the running event where literally every running brand, Nike, Puma, Five Belt, you name it, is here in Austin for a little convention. And I am super excited to get to be a part of it this year. I've always heard about it since moving here. And I've always wanted to know how to be involved in whatever. And this year I have a couple of things um, I'm there with Spy Belt. I've been using Spy Belt since maybe my second or third half marathon. Um, so I'm gonna go with them tomorrow. And then my manager is also in town. We have a dinner tonight with HVMN, which is the little ketone IQ thing. I shared that in the last video. The thing that I love the feeling of, don't love the taste of, but it's an amazing product. Um, so I have team dinner with HVMN tonight and my manager. So I have to get ready right now to head out for drinks with her. Her and I are gonna meet up and chat and then head to the dinner together. And then tomorrow we have a shakeout run bright and early with Puma. I have a live with my coach, Chris, that has nothing to do with the running event, but just more running things that are happening tomorrow. And then in the afternoon, I'm going to the convention, to the running event, to hang out at the Spy Belt booth. Then I have a Nike event after. So I figured it would be fun to try to vlog all of these things and bring y'all along with. We'll see what actually happens if I end up having a video to post or not. So if you're seeing this, obviously I ended up having enough footage. I need to go get ready. I also am starting back up with running this week. Very slow. I don't think I'm officially starting my Boston Marathon training this week, but we're just, we're easing back in. So let's go get ready for drinks and dinner and I'll just check in with y'all when I can. Also, we put up our Christmas decorations the day after Thanksgiving. I'm obsessed with this cute little pillow. And then our tree is fake. I put some little Christmas trees on our coffee table. And then I need to do something with that stocking, but we just have wooden Christmas trees, some garland. These little houses have candles in them. The little battery ones that I can put up or turn on at night. This, I thought this was the cutest little truck ever and I didn't realize it was a toy, but I don't know. I think it's cute, it matches the wooden trees. I need to get a Christmas themed art on our frame TV. We have a wreath and lights outside. And then I also just have this little centerpiece on the table. I have the larger version of this reindeer sitting right here. He's so cute, but we have to keep him tucked away or else these hooligans will knock it down. And then I posted on my Instagram stories today and my DMs are full of questions about this sweater. This is the Alpaca something crew from Everlane. I've had this sweater for a long time in a blue color. And I went into the store because they were 30% off and they have one, it's kind of by the gym. So I popped in the other day and they only had one left in a medium. I'm usually a small, so this is definitely is a little bit bigger, but I just wore like this little tank underneath and kind of tucked it in. Everyone wants the link and it's sold out online. I feel so bad, but isn't it so cute? This color is just, it's too good. And I'm just wearing little sneakers, but I'm gonna change into a blazer, black jeans and a bodysuit and head out. This is just the Skims Fits Everybody bodysuit. And then I'm obsessed with these jeans. They are a goldie. I never know if I'm saying that right, but they're black jeans and then they have leather you can see them very well just on the front like they look like alec what are these called what cowboys wear no this slacks no things that like cover their pants yeah, what's this called chaps oh, right chaps. Yeah. aren't they called yeah. chaps yeah, it is chaps. okay i guess yeah chaps leather <laughs> chaps so they're just jeans in the back and then they have the leather in the front so i just feel it's a little bit dressier than just wearing black denim, but still casual enough. So I'm gonna wear this with this blazer. I feel like it's more than a blazer because it's really thick. It's from Anine Bing. I posted this actually in my Chicago vlog. I wore this the night before the race for dinner. So I'm gonna curl my hair really quickly and then I feel like this is just an easy way to look a little bit professional, but still, still a little fun. Considering buying 
the Dyson Airwrap. I've had it for, gosh, maybe a year and a half now. If you're considering and wondering if it's worth it, I promise you it's worth every penny. That just took me five, 10 minutes, maybe 10 minutes max. I feel like I'm fortunate in the fact that my hair does hold a curl quite well. It won't stay like this bouncy all night, but the goal is kind of to just look like I had it blown out versus really curly. I know I've said this in a video before, and I know y'all obviously don't expect beauty tips from me since I am in fitness and running. Um, but I will never share my routine because I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to makeup and Lord knows my skin needs some work. So, so I'm not gonna break it down for you. I will say though, as far as like favorite products, this Kosa's Brow Pop, you fill it in on one side and then you can use the brush, which I like having the option to use the brush without filling the eyebrows in. But then the Air Brow is like the colored gel that matches your brows. And then this tinted SPF is my favorite because it just goes on so light. I need a little bit more coverage for dinners and things like that, but just throughout the day and for running or going to the gym, whatever, it's just like nice to put on. I need SPF anyway. And yeah. All right, get brush my teeth and then I gotta go. to meet from people from HBMN and then of course everybody else they had there. I think there was like maybe 18 or 20 of us. I'm home way past my bedtime. We have a very early shakeout run to go to tomorrow with Puma. So I'm going to get all of my stuff together for that run so that I just have it laid out and ready to go when I wake up tomorrow. Mr. Champer says hello. Missed you. Yeah, dad had to take care of you all night. Huh? Hi buddy. You got your cool ball. Yeah, it's your favorite ball, huh? That's the neighbor's ball. Yeah, that's Bear's ball. He is obsessed with this ball and it's the neighbors. So Nicole, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll bring it back, I promise. I'm also going to try to film uh, Get Ready With Me tomorrow. So tripod is going with my clothes pile so that I remember to record. I went from training in the heat all summer and fall to taking my running break and now it is 40 degrees in the morning. So I'm pulling out all of my winter running clothes. Winter, Texas winter is obviously way less harsh than what a lot of you deal with, but it's wild pulling this stuff out because I haven't touched it in a long time, which I feel grateful for. But a cold, crisp run is gonna feel good. And I'm excited to see what Puma has in store for us. All right, I'm gonna get dressed and read a little bit, maybe make some tea and get some sleep. It's already 10.30. And I usually go to bed by like nine if I'm waking up this early. So I'm gonna wind down and then we'll see y'all right in the early. Wednesday, November 29th. It is 6.07 a.m. Y'all, I'm so out of the loop with getting ready for a run. I'm headed to the Puma run. They're lifting their embargo on their newest shoe, and I can talk about it because this won't be posted until later. So it's the media shakeout run for the Fast R Nitro Elite 2. So let's see. Uh, are there any embargoes? The embargo lifts today. So very exciting. The run is at a coffee shop here in Austin. So we're gonna meet there and check out the new shoe. I don't know for sure if we'll get the shoe right away or not. Um, it always just kind of depends on 
the event and the situation. I don't know how many people are gonna be at this run, but I'm gonna meet my manager there and I can't wait. I was so disheveled this morning trying to, well, last night I obviously got my stuff together, but I'm like so out of my routine of getting ready to go on a run, which I have done. Like I took the full week, three weeks off running and that ended on Sunday. So on, like, on Sunday on the treadmill, I like did little run intervals. I went for like a run slash walk on Monday. This isn't my first time running per se since my run break, but this will be like my first actual run back. So I'm very excited. I can't wait. And if I keep chatting, I'm gonna be late. So we'll see y'all around. Just got back home from the Puma event. It was so fun. I've actually never really ran in Puma before. Um, so it was cool to try their new, it's the Fast R Nitro Elite. Am I saying that right? Yeah, the Fast R Nitro Elite 2. So the embargo is lifted, now announced. I don't think it launches until the winter, 2024. They gave us such cool merch, this little backpack, and then this windbreaker that I'm wearing. Definitely gonna get good use out of this, and I feel like the neon color is perfect for visibility if I'm running in the dark. I cannot get over how cute the little shoe is with my name. Like, come on, that is adorable. Then when you flip it over, it's like the color of the actual shoe. And then I have my other shoes that I wore to the event in here. But they gave me a couple of other clothing pieces to try this sports bra. I'm actually, I've never even tried, I don't think, any Puma like athletic wear. So this is actually super cute. This little tank, a little cropped tank, and then there's spandex. Looks like they have some pockets as well. So excited to try these. They have a zipper pocket on this side too. It was fun. We got to go for the run and then we did like a little panel to listen to the elite athletes talk about their experiences with Puma. Really cool to meet and see Molly Seidel. And then, yeah, I just had some coffee, got to chat with everybody on the Puma team. Everybody was so nice. Now I'm gonna get ready um, to get some of my work done. I need to pack. I'm leaving for New York tomorrow for a quick 24 hour trip with Ladder. And I need to get up a post with features right now. And then I'm gonna go back to T it's called the running event, but everybody calls it TRE. I'm going to the Spy Belt booth today. And then I have an event with Nike and I might be going to an Adidas event now as well. So we'll see how much energy I have left after Nike and where my social battery is at because it's already at negative 1,000. I am not a social butterfly. I, th I think it seems like it and everybody in my life thinks that I am because I just can't say no to things. Um, it's the people pleaser in me. So my battery gets drained rather quickly. And all I want to do now is sit in a room and stare at a wall. Just can't do that though. I need to get work done. So I'm going to shower, get this post up, sit at my computer for a couple of hours, and then um, we'll carry on with the rest of the day. Wait, that's so cool. I'm just realizing that this is literally the carbon plate right there. Like you usually can't see it in the shoes. And wow, that is very cool. All right, I'm going to try to show y'all the behind the scenes of posting. So my manager sends all of my content in to the brand and then we get it approved, which is why sometimes the posts aren't in real time as in this post that I'm doing was made a couple of days ago when I went for my first walk slash run back. And then they have to approve the post and make sure like the caption spelled correctly. Like they fixed some of the things in this caption for me go through and edit this. All right. So I have the caption in there. I'm going to tag features. This is like the best partnership ever because y'all know I literally only wear <laughs> features um, and then we'll pick a cover photo let's see what well, maybe that one there we go okay and then we'll add topics running I think I need to put the paid partnership label on sometimes it makes you request yeah continue okay there she is and then I need to upload the stories as well yeah, I'm getting back on the horse with my first walk slash run back with the holidays quickly approaching I've been thinking of all of the perfect gifts for runners which is where my love for features comes in it's funny how you can go from thinking socks would be the lamest Christmas gift ever now hoping that they're in your stocking runners have and there it is 
story recording and then I'll go back in and add all of the text. So this is like what I sent in to get approved and I will recreate this now in my story. So I'm pretty sure I can copy and paste this actually. Let's see. Y'all are getting a really good look at my camera roll right now. Cool. Oh, cool. Okay. The person who has bought the most amount of their low cushion cord sock have to be the single person. Anyway, as I'm thinking about getting gift guides and such together for Christmas, I was thinking how this is like the number one thing for either stocking stuffers. Or That's obviously app. still uploading. We've got the reel posted. So yeah. I'll go back into Monday. This is just what my manager uses to keep track of things. Um, and we'll go content live. We already got brand approval. Content live and content live. So, yay. We're showered up and I'm heating up this last piece of chicken pot pie that we have. I love chicken pot pie. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so good. I think it's so comforting. And I found this crock pot recipe from the Healthy Little Foodie on Instagram. And basically I did the filling in the crock pot and then I, once it was done in the crock pot, filled it all into this glass Pyrex and put a croissant over the top flat and had that be like the crust and then threw it in the oven for I think 13 minutes at 375. So it created like a nice layer on top and then all the fillings I did, broccoli, peas, green beans, carrots, and corn, and then chicken, cream of chicken soup, chicken broth. I'll link the recipe below. I changed a couple of things, but I'm so excited to eat this. What is this? Is that your little tootsie? Are those your little feet with the little foe hanging out? Yeah. Whenever I talk to Callie like that, the dogs get all excited. They're like, wait, mom, what about us? Yep, you're handsome too. You're cute too. But those little feet. I mean, come on. checked out the list my live with my coach I will link that below we did a live Q&A and I'm getting ready to head out to the convention center now and our Christmas cards just came they're adorable I'm obsessed it was really hard to find a card that went with the colors of our photos if that makes sense make sure it popped without having a white background envelopes pre-addressed and I just need to get stamps and then these will go out so I'm very happy different day than I had thought and it feels so silly that I'm literally sitting here talking about it and, and cried to my camera which is an inanimate object. I feel like this is something I don't really talk about especially if you're coming from my running Instagram account. I feel it's all very running focused and if you've been following me for a long time on my fitness page, my Nicole and Winter account, one's a little bit more personal. Of course the running account is too, but I've had that fitness account for much longer. So y'all have been on more of a journey with me there. Um, and something that I've always really struggled with is anxiety and stress management. And I feel like lately I just don't have a grip on it. So. All to be said, I got to the event and I just started to really not feel well at all. Like breaking out into hot, cold sweats, I just started to really not feel well. And that led to me starting to feel panicky because that's sometimes a symptom that I have when I have a panic attack. So I came home and I, I hope that I'm not actually getting sick. I think it truly is just my stress or my anxiety i'm not sure things going on in our heads can manifest in physical ways and i'm a firm believer in that and i honestly i feel that that's what happened today so i came home i'm a little anxious because i need to go to new york tomorrow for ladder my workout program move well is on the ladder app we have a big shoot in work tomorrow so i'm literally just going to be gone for 24 hours it's not necessarily helping 
the situation right now. So it's about 5.30 right now. I got home around four. Not the afternoon I had hoped for. I had a key event tonight to go to. I had an Adidas event to go to. I feel honestly like really embarrassed. But one thing that I won't sacrifice is my own health and I needed to call it a day. So not the happiest ending to this YouTube video, but taking y'all along for the good and the bad. I feel like this is probably my most vulnerable platform because I'm able to like chat with y'all and share more. But anyway, I feel really grateful. I feel silly to even be talking about being anxious when I just have so much to be grateful for, but I know I can't look at it that way either. So if you're someone who also deals with anxiety, I feel for you big time. So Let's hope for a happier next video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. And yeah, we'll talk to y'all next time.